Hey, Trey, welcome to LA, Chief. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, talk about the phone call that you got, the, the emotions that's going through your your uh, your head, and how's with, with your family right now? It's crazy right now. Uh, you know, once my phone rang, my heart started beating right away. Um, got to talk to the coach and GM, and, you know, now I'm trying to calm down right now. My heart is beating real fast right now, so I'm just kind of trying to stay calm to, to do this interview. Okay. Um, what can Charger fans expect from uh, Mr. Trey McKitty? Uh, hard worker. Guys going to get it done. You know, all three downs. Uh, I feel like I'm all around tight end. Um, they're willing to come in and learn and, then, you know, do whatever I can to help this team win. Now, blocking is a big – is an expectation for tight ends. What makes you a good blocker? Um, what What is the mindset – when you go in the block and the play is not called for you to catch a pass? Uh, I think, I think first thing is like blocking is, you know, 80% of it is want to. So I think, I, I think I have that, um, you know, have that dog in me to want to go and, you know, put somebody in their back. And then also it just comes down to technique and, uh, you know, continue, I have to continue to grow on that, but, you know, I think it's there and, uh, you know, definitely got to improve on that as well. Congratulations with your uh, getting drafted. Do you have a message for Charger fans? I can't wait to get out of LA. Um, you know, just can't wait to be in the city. Thank you guys so much for this opportunity. Uh, can't wait to see you, Charger fans. Have a good one, Chief. Congratulations again. Sir, thank you. Appreciate you. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Trey, more on the on the blocking. You didn't get too many targets at Georgia, but you got a good amount of targets at Florida State. Uh, you think at Georgia that the way to kind of make an impact was to, to be a good blocker? Right. Um, you know, definitely this year didn't go as you know way I planned as far as targets. But, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to go as SEC this year was so I can, you know, be become a, a good blocker and I think I did that I improved a lot of my blocking this year and you know got to show that so the, the production wasn't there as far as receptions but you know it still, it still was a good year. Uh, being a rookie that I guess maybe the best path to get on the field is special teams did you play a good amount in college special teams do you feel like it's one of your strengths? Uh, yes sir I, I played I played a lot of special teams while I was at, at Florida State um, I definitely think uh, that, that's a part of my game that you know I'm gonna have to do it in the NFL and I think uh, I can excel in that as well. And Trey, one more for me. Uh, you get to play with Jerry Cook now, veteran in the NFL, tight end. Uh, thoughts on that? Uh, I think it's great. Uh, you know, I get to learn from a vet like that. Uh, I've been watching him the last few years. That's one of the tight ends that you know, I, I try to watch film on. So that's going to be an awesome opportunity. And, you know, can't wait to work with him. Thank you. And congrats again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Joe Reedy. Trey, congratulations on getting selected. You uh, have knowledge of going up against uh, two of your future teammates going up in uh, practice. What was it like at Florida State going against Derwin and uh, then Asante? Oh, uh, well, I, I still say to this day, uh, Derwin is probably one of the best players I've, I've gone against as far as practice and games. Um, you know, my freshman year at Florida State, you know, it was, it was great working with him. It got me a lot better. I know I can't wait to work with him again. Just uh, when you transferred to Georgia, what did they, was the schemes different or what did they, what did they do different compared to when you were at Florida State? Um, well, to be honest, um, you know, the offensive coordinator, Coach Munkin, this past year was, his offense was actually very similar to, to, uh, to Coach Fisher my freshman year. So as far as that aspect, it was, it was kind of similar. Um, but with Coach Taggart, things were definitely different, just the style of offense, um, kind of the pace of the offense as well. Um, uh, more emphasis on, you know, getting to the, the ball quick, um, where is uh, Coach Munkin and Coach Fisher was more of a pro-style focus. Trey, you had four offensive coordinators in four years. How much of that different offensive schemes and stuff you think will serve you well going into the NFL as far as picking up another offense and learning? Um, I think it does nothing but help me, you know, you know, having to pick up something new every single year. Uh, I think my ability to learn is, is, is quick, so I think that would help me a lot. Um, and, you know, having fellow teammates like uh, Gabe Neighbors on the offense is going to help me as well to you know, be able to pick up the offense together. Um, but, you know, definitely think that my experience as far as changing offensive coordinators and staffs is going to help me in the future. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Nick Hamilton. Hey, congratulations, Trey. Um, you know, how much do you know about this Chargers team as far as the offensive scheme? Were you able to talk to uh, – any of the coaches, or did you get a chance to look at some film prior to uh, what you'll be getting into? Yeah, I definitely looked at film. Uh, you know, just being able to talk. Me and me and Gabe Neighbors are very close, uh, so me and him talked about it a lot. Um, and I've only talked to the, the head coach and GM so far, so waiting to, you know, still talk to the tight end coaches, the rest of the rest of the staff tonight. What is something that you're looking forward to uh, being a part of? I mean, you talk about obviously being drafted. 
coming to a new city like Los Angeles. But what is it about this organization that really excites you uh, to be a part of it? Um, the fact that they that they, they they took faith in me and you know you know gave me the this opportunity uh, makes me want to you know to go miles with them. You know I, I want to give my all um, for getting this, this opportunity and I uh, just put my heart into it. Dennis Freeman. Congratulations, Ray. How you doing? Thank you. Good. Um, can you talk about your ability to uh, stretch the field at the tight end? Um, I think I, I think I can do that very well. Um, you know, I was kind of um, not my exactly myself this, this past year uh, with my knee injury at the beginning of the year, but you know, I'm finally back 100. percent And you know, think you know, I'm one of their, the quicker tight ends in this class, and you know, can definitely stretch the field. Um, and the follow up, um, you consider yourself more of a run blocker or your versatility as a tight end, you can do both well. Okay. 100%, 100%, 100% do both, sir. All right, thank you. No problem. Last one for you, Trey Pupper. Hey, Trey, congratulations. You mentioned um, Gabe Neighbors. Have you been able to talk to him at all during the draft process or, or any any time in, in recent weeks? Yeah, we talked probably like two days ago, yesterday, I think. What has he told you about Justin Herbert? Because he's obviously close with Justin. They live together. They cook briskets together. What, what have you heard right. from Gabe about Justin? Uh, so far, he's a, he's a great guy. You know, cool guy to be around. Uh, he's a professional and is obviously a baller. Uh, so we, we kind of talked to him a few times um, before the situation. But, you know, now it's going to be awesome. We're all going to be teammates. Then who is your biggest inspiration? Uh, I'll say my father. Why? Um, it's just me and my dad don't really have a, a father son relationship. It's kind of like a, a best friend type of thing. And, you know, he's been there leading me on like my entire life. So uh, that's my best friend right there. And, you know, he's a true mentor for me and is my biggest inspiration for sure.